Hey everyone, it is hard to believe, but it was 30 years ago today, January 23rd, 1984, that this man right here, Hulk Hogan, defeated this man right here, the evil Aaron Chig Hack Boy, for the World Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, Hulk Hogan pinning the Iron Sheik in Madison Square Garden, becoming the WWF Heavyweight Champion. And of course, I have talked about Hulk Hogan countless times. Uh, positive things, negative things, but at the end of the day, it's hard to deny the impact that Hulk Hogan had on the world of professional wrestling, even to this day. Um, you know, some would argue that there would not still be a WWE or a WrestleMania the way that we know it had it not been for Hulk Hogan, who was a trailblazer in the world of professional wrestling. Now, as the years have gone on, I have, you know, grown to, I don't want to say dislike Hulk Hogan, but my opinions of him have changed through the years. Um, you know, as a kid, I was a Hulkamaniac to the extreme. The only time I remember not really being a Hulkamaniac was when he wrestled Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff in that steel cage match, the blue cage, on Saturday Night's main event back in 1987. Um, I briefly turned on Hulkamania. But then after that, all was well, and I rallied behind him once again. And he really... Uh, you know, Hulk Hogan, through the years, whether it's been against guys like Rowdy Roddy Piper, Andre the Giant, King Kong Bundy, Big John Studd, uh, Yoko Zuna, I'm just trying to think, some of the biggest larger-than-life wrestlers he's faced. Now, of course, when you compare his track record to, say, Ric Flair, who was the champion at the same time in the NWA in and the, in the same time period, the same era, of course, Hogan was facing, or I'm sorry, Flair was facing Ricky Steamboat and Sting and Lex Luger and Barry Windham. Um, obviously a different uh, category of wrestlers. Hogan was more of the facing that giant odds and, and overcoming it, whereas Flair was the dirty player and, and taking advantage of the babyface good guys. So, uh, you know, for what it's worth, I do respect Hulk Hogan. I do respect what he did for the business. And I also acknowledge the fact that if it weren't for guys like Rowdy Roddy Piper and Paul Orndorff and Bob Orton and the Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov and Andre the Giant. Hogan wouldn't have had these great challenges, these great foils. And of course, uh, you know, it goes back to Piper and Hogan from way back when. You know, who deserves the credit? I think they both deserve a lot of credit. Uh, their personalities were larger than life. And they helped create what is still known today as uh, World Wrestling Entertainment, and uh, it is entertainment, it is wrestling, it is great. Um, and of course, Vince McMahon deserves a lion's share of the credit too, because without his money, without his vision, um, you know, would Hulk Hogan have reached the masses as he did? Of course, Hogan's personality, his look, helped get the WWE, the WWF at that time, to that national playing field. Uh, so there was a lot of, of, of factors that played into this, but the bottom line is, as Stone Cold Steve Austin would say, congratulations, Hulk Hogan, 30 years ago, Hulkamania really being born, becoming a household name, and to this day, Hulk Hogan is still probably, uh, not probably, Hulk Hogan is the most widely recognized name in the business among fans, uh, among people who aren't fans of wrestling. I did a poll on uh, Facebook and, and ran a, a blog on it. You know, Hulk Hogan probably had five or six times more recognition than the nearest uh, competitor in that poll that I did, which was uh, happened to be Andre the Giant. So Hulkamania, uh, like it or not, is here to stay. And I actually do want to see him back at WrestleMania 30, uh, to see what he's got in store. I don't necessarily want to see a match, but I do want to see Hulk Hogan back uh, on WWE programming before he retires for good and officially. So thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my 123 cents, and I'm not going to bear or give you the uh, the burden of listening to my Hulkamania impression. Well, actually, what you gonna do, brother, when Hulkamania comes running wild on you?